Hi everybody, Joey here again and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a cheap and easy aquarium rack. When it comes to smaller tanks, you can minimize the space that they take up by simply stacking them on top of each other. Now in the past, I've actually shown how to build aquarium stands and multiple level aquarium racks, but I haven't really done a video on how to build a rack for smaller aquariums. If you haven't watched my video on how to build an aquarium stand, I definitely suggest you do before attempting this project. Now this rack that I'm about to show you is intended for aquarium 30 gallons or less. With that said, we're actually going to use half the materials that we typically would on an aquarium rack. For this build, I used seven 2x4s and about 120 wood screws that were number eights, two and a half inch long. Using wood glue for this build is definitely optional, however, if you do intend to use it, it will make your stand a lot stronger. The total cost for this entire project was under $25. Now the plans for this aquarium rack are so simple that you can actually adjust how you want to put it together. I first start out by building the platforms that the actual aquariums are going to sit on. Now I make these about a half inch to one inch bigger than the bottom of the aquarium just to give them a bit of wiggle room. We just need to make sure that we screw the front and back on the outside of this formation. Now I repeat this step for as many tanks as I need. In this case I needed three. Now the way I typically put these together is I first sit these tank platforms up and screw in the side supports in. I use at least four screws for each contact point. Now this is where wood glue can be used if you want to. Now these side supports are actually going to depict the overall height of the entire rack. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Now the spacing of the platforms for the tanks are also going to depict how much room is in between each one. You'll need to account for not only the aquarium, but how much room you're going to need to be able to work in between them. I like to allow four inches minimum as a working space in between the tanks. As you're putting this together, your only real concern is going to be to make sure that this is square and level. So you're going to need both of those tools to ensure that happens. Now obviously once that portion of the build is together, we now have a makeshift stand. However, you'll notice that all the weight is now on the screws and we're going to want to alleviate that a bit. So a two by four cut to the width of the stand and place under each aquarium platform will provide ample strength and support for that. Again, four screws into each contact point. Now even though we added those additional supports, you'll notice that all of the weight from the aquariums is still on the screws. However, we use so many screws that there's really nothing to worry about. Now a wood screw on average has a shearing strength of about 100 to 150 pounds. Now what that means is it will take 100 to 150 pounds to snap that screw in half. Now based on the design of this rack, each aquarium is supported by 32 screws. Now the tanks that I'm using are 30 gallon aquariums, and if you do the math, this stand is 10 times stronger than I actually need. Now obviously this is a tall and narrow stand. It's very evident that this might tip over and that's definitely a concern you should have. So one of the best things you can actually do is to secure the top of the rack to a wall. Now that's not going to be a possible scenario for everybody, so here's an idea that I use. I cut some 2x4s to the width of the bottom of the stand, plus an extra six inches. I screw them in place to contact points on the legs and that will prevent the stand from tipping forward. Now the benefits to this type of rack is obvious. It's cheap and it's easy to do. It also takes up less space than my other stands typically do. On that same note, this rack is rated for aquariums 30 gallons or less, so it does have its limits. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely want to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.